Nick Carlos, uh, the Mustangs' new head coach, fresh from Pepperdine. Tell us a little bit uh, about what you did at, at Pepperdine and how long were you there, Nick? Yeah, well, first of all, hey, thanks everyone for welcoming me back to San Luis Obispo. We're really excited to be here. Um, I was spent the last five years coaching at Pepperdine as an assistant coach, uh, where we were top 20 each year. Uh, the highest ranking we got was actually four in the country um, this past year. Um, before that, I was an assistant coach at Northwestern University in Chicago, Illinois. Um, and then before that, I was uh, an assistant coach back at Pepperdine on our 2006 uh, national championship team um, with the Waves. But excited to be here in San Luis and, and to be back as a Mustang. Yeah, so you come rushing in here right at the last minute. I mean, and before you went to the Bulldog Classic, you didn't have a place to stay. You were staying with the the, the trainer. Uh, I was staying with my friend David Wood, the strength coach here. I was sleeping on his couch, and he uh, <laughs> he was very gracious to let me there. But I'm glad that I have a place. Uh, the last couple of weeks have been very busy, but busy's good. Uh, went to the Bulldog Classic, did a good job there. Um, kind of learned the guys' games a little bit better, saw what we needed to work on. And, but it was a very positive weekend, and, uh, and as Andre keeps going in the All-American, I think we're – off to a very, very good start here early in the year. Yeah, I noticed you texted me uh, from uh, Fresno that the guys needed a little uh, more fitness. Got to get a little quicker, which is you know, emphasis the last week, and we'll continue to be through the fall. We'll be on our fitness and our explosiveness. And uh, the guys hit the ball so well. I just noticed this weekend that a lot of their errors come from just being out of position, um, not being quite explosive enough to the tennis ball as they need to be. Um, but we're getting there. I thought this week uh, was a, a good week in terms of making progress in that category in that regard. All right, and of course, uh, you got to be thrilled with Andre, huh? Yeah, it's just, you know, again, it's a testament to how hard he worked over the summer, uh, his dedication to the game, and, um, you know, he approaches every day like a pro, and he's showing that he's capable of not only competing with the best players in the country, but beating them, um, and he's proving that he is one of the best players in the country. And it's just great for the program, great for the university, and, and, and great for him, something that he's very deserving of. What's upcoming? Uh, we got the IT Regional which is about two weeks from now. Uh, this is a big tournament, and the way that those work, uh, there are 16 regionals across the country, um, all over the country, and basically you're competing for a spot in the National Indoors, which is a, uh, which is a tournament that's held in New York City at the U.S. Open, um, where only 32 kids qualify for. So the regionals will be um, us, USC, UCLA, Pepperdine, all those teams pretty much on the West Coast that are uh, on the southern part of the United States. Arizona will be there, San Diego, San Diego State. So. Uh, It'll be a good test to see how we match up against the other teams in our region. Now, is this a team competition or is it for individuals? All individual. Uh, all individual. So if the guys do well, they could be playing each other in you know, round of 16, quarters, which is hopefully the case. Maybe we'd like to have an all-Mustang final. That would be a, a nice goal to, to try to strive for. That would be nice. So now, um, Andre, in the back draw yesterday, he beats a 20th-ranked guy. Now, is that going to help his um, ranking? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, pretty much all the wins that Andre... Um, is piling up there at the All-American are really going to help him uh, stay uh, high in the rankings because those guys that he's playing, you know, they, they have great uh, schedules. They play a lot of great t uh, players throughout the year, um, and it's just going to help him keep his ranking where it needs to be. And uh, along with the opportunities that he'll have in our schedule and during our season, uh, I think his his ITA ranking is going to be nice and high this year. Well, um, we really want to welcome you to San Luis Obispo. We're off to uh, an exciting start. I know you got rushed into it. You're settling in, getting to know everybody. And it's going to be an exciting year, a fresh start, new men's coach, new women's coach, new AD, new president. And we really look forward to uh, following you this year. Best of luck, Nick. Thank you, guys. And again, I'm just looking forward to, to being here and uh, having my team involved with everyone in the community. I'm looking forward to meeting all you uh, at our matches or wherever we may cross paths in the, in the tennis world. Thanks.